What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and it is finally time, finally, to get started with our Let's Play of Code Vein. Now, this has been a long time coming. Originally, this game was supposed to come out around this time last year, and they put it off an entire year to polish it more. Had a chance to play at a bunch of early access events, press events, and whatnot to kind of get a feel for it. And I am so hyped to finally have the full game here. Let's do it. Let's let's maximize the anime souls. Just just put our weeb engines to eleven. This is it. Here we go. Please use name and code name. All names of speed. The need code names are displayed during multiplayer. It's cowboy, cowboy. So for the let's play, we are going to be playing as a dude. For the walkthrough, we'll be using a waifu. I've already made both. There's our waifu. This is anime cowboy. Decided to save some time, get my character prepped. Looks pretty good, right? I mean, obviously, he doesn't have the magnificent dad bod that I have or the glorious beard. Um, but he's still pretty close. And obviously, we're playing in Japanese. If you think this is the game that you're supposed to play with English voice acting, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> Hey girl. Now I'm kind of kind of fuzzy in some mysterious realm here. レブナントとして生きるためにしておいてほしいことがあるのよく聞いてレブナントはその地にブラッドコードという特別な力を宿すのどんな力のブラッドコードが自分に宿っているのか実際に試して確認してみて So we have actually done all of this stuff uh, back in the beta. So none of this is a surprise. I'm kind of just blitzing through it. ロストの血がその武器でロストを攻撃すれば敵の名血を吸収することができるから覚えておいてねこれがファイターそして連結についての基礎知識それぞれの特性を見極めることが重要なのウィック attack dodge strong attack I hope I don't have to go through this every time. So you know I'm going to be doing multiple runs. Hello, 
Okay, so I can just mash A to skip all of her dialogue. I don't want to skip like a ton of it. レンジャーは器用さに優れていて武器を銃剣に持ち替えてみましょうかそうねその方がいいみたいそうそう銃撃には目欠が必要なのでその時はあなたが装備している画像のデバイの画像を使えばロストから一気に吸血することができるのさら
あちらです。kind of funny when you think about it you spend all this time creating your character customizing how they look picking out an outfit and then in just a little bit I'm gonna be putting on armor and I'm never gonna see my outfit again worry it will go nice and slow for you that's right I'm almost there I feel like half this game is a sexual innuendo. <laughs> like everything. I mean, if this tree sprouted from my blood, wouldn't I just be re-drinking my own blood? Now we get a, a lap nap. As we all know, every anime protagonist deserves a lap nap. どちらも確保だ。今日は<笑> さん、さっき眠ったところだ。ね、お前さんたちマスクはどうしたんだ。お前さんそんなことも覚えてないのか。知りたければ教えてやるが。まずは奥へ行って浄化マスク。3番、4番。俺と新入り。仕事の時間だ
but the ones that go like blood hungry. They turn into something called the lost. そうです。枯れてますから。こんな正気の中での探索は無茶です。今日は。血税の まずはお前らだ。さっさと動け。ダメだ。みんなを巻き込んでしまう。回収した血類と交換にな。最近はここらにも反対が出るそうだ。全滅だけは勘弁してくれよ。さっさと行け。おい、大丈夫か？ ここから上に戻るのは無理か。帰りは別の道を探さないとな。あ、俺オリバーコリンズって言うんだ。よろしくな。And we're finally playing. Woo! Mm, right. So I'm not sure if I want to do any real acquisition yet, because I know I'm not going to stick as any of these. Rain rating on weapon attacks. Um, in terms of what I want to use for now, I think I'll play as caster for the time being. I'm a thraldom. Do I, can I even use that? I can. Um, wait a second. There we go. Am I on fighter right now? I'm on fighter. Okay. Well, I can play as fighter a little bit. It does look like they... they the sounds make the weapons have a lot more weight to them, which is good. Because that was one of my, my biggest concerns before. Quick feet. Quick feet. Good job, Oliver. Shiny. Uh, is there anything else? God, the map always gets me with this, because you, until you find the next mistal, you notice how the map like shows a trail, but it doesn't show an actual map. Using an upgrading regen, HP can be recovered through the use of regen, resting your missile stocks it. Yeah. Know that already. RB hold. Yeah. Oh, he just went up and killed it. What was that? Hold right bumper, and then I get a dash. Oh, okay. 
So just hold down RB to sprint. I might actually change that um, settings control dash slash combo. Is there, do you push down the left stick for anything? Open quick gesture menu, press twice. Um, oh shit. Because I, I like RB in the combo, but I prefer left stick to, to run. So I'll just, I'll cancel. I'll just opt to get used to it. I mean, it's not terrible holding right bumper to run, but... Heavy Axe, uh, which is pretty much just a straight upgrade, I think, to this hammer. Uh, Physical, yeah, I go from 95 to 302. Even though the scaling is worse, just the raw on this thing is way better. Better drain rating, mobility is goes up to normal as well. Equipment can be changed to stat requirements. Exceeding your weight limits your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the requirements decreases your attack power. Change from menu screen, both a main weapon and a sub weapon can be equipped. These weapons can be switched without opening the menu. Do I not meet the requirements for this or something? No, I do. Retrieving haze, anytime you die. Hitting. <laughs> no, I might change that up. Might change this to a soul scheme. Because I keep, especially after, let me lay yeah, let me do that now. Um, and then I can probably, let me see. Um, essentially, after just coming off of the surge, um, controls for dash combo have been switched. The input you entered, wait. It's already set to give quick slot up one. Shit, that's right. Uh, so I'm gonna. Mm, mm. I'm gonna think. Because if I change this, what's gonna happen is when I go to open my gifts, that menu is gonna be all messed up. Well, looks like it's just gonna take some time to get used to it. Which, I mean, to be fair, I did. I already finished the uh, the walkthrough for the surge too, so I should be able to to get into the rhythm of this fairly quickly. That was one focused attack. Uh, harder to stagger, easy stagger. You can also gain the ability to knock enemies and perform a drain attack on one. Basically, no. I knew going into it that trying to play both this and the Surge 2 simultaneously would mess me up because I'd you know, get used to one button scheme and then get used to the other button scheme and did not want to do that, so. Triple Annihilator, health boost. Right, well, since I'm already mastering stuff, let me switch up so that's uh, it's probably good to talk on um looking at the blood code you can see the different things i have with the blood code i have triple annihilator adrenaline restorative offering um i have health boost and until you master them things are locked to your character so for example if i play as ranger for a bit um i could have stamina boost shift shifting hollow sonic arrow all that stuff uh, will come in and the thing that's great about this is once you play enough to unlock um i'm gonna have to, to, to take a look at audio after this episode see if it's too loud 
Uh, but once you play enough to unlock all this stuff, you can use it on on any uh, any class. So like, I could have the stamina up while playing as a warrior, essentially, or the uh, stamina up. I mean, the the attack up while playing as a ranger, or the stamina up while playing as a warrior. So it's good to. It's out of breath. Essentially, it's good for you to mess around and try out uh, the different classes and switch back and forth because you know you'll you'll unlock stuff. There's the broadsword. Which broadsword had some crazy things to it, if I remember. Oh, we should have a mistle coming up in a second. I'll probably play up, <clears throat> play up to that mistle, and then wrap up there. I think. We can open this. That's the shortcut back to the start. Not that it really matters. Gifts and drain attacks differ depending on the blood veil you equip. Blood veils also affect stat scaling and drain ratings. Blazing roar with the blood veil possessing a high dark gift efficiency will increase attack power. And let's purify this. And now you can see the area has been all mapped out. That's not a rest missile, that's just a regular old, old run of the L Mista. Hmm. I think, because the, the button I use for dodging, I could also get used to just, I could set that to uh, sprint. Um, another thing that's nice here is your level, when you level, you just level. So it's always worth leveling up. Um, your stats will dynamically change depending on what you switch to. So even though, you know, I leveled up as a ranger, if I go back to fighter, my fighter stuff will uh, will be comparatively you know, the same same way it was. Um, this would be better use that. Um, so I'm slow using a broadsword. Well, shit! If I'm gonna be slow, I might as well make it an axe. But really, I should be using a bayonet while I'm this class. Um, and I think I think the boss is like no, there should be a little bit more. Yeah, there's there's a bit more to this area now that I think about it. Yeah, I got speedy dash. All right, well we're gonna wrap up here for now. Um, I know we haven't made a ton of progress into the game, but you know the first couple bits are gonna be what we played through in the demo anyway. So <clears throat> we'll take a break, close on out next episode I'll be able to finish up this area and take down the boss and get introduced to the hub assuming not all that stuff has changed so either way guys this is definitely going to be probably a long series um, from what I've heard this game clocks in around 30 40 hours so we should have a lot of parts of this coming your way and then as always after the let's play is done I will then look into getting the walkthrough ready so thanks for coming on by I hope y'all are ready for this anime dark souls is finally here and i for one am hyped as hell to dive balls deep into this game